Hey guys, welcome to new video. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how will borax eat your uh, crucible, your graphite crucible. So if you watch my latest video, this is my uh, salamander. In the previous video, that salamander looked like uh, these. But now look like this. So I melt some copper dust, uh, recovered from uh, old AP solutions, and uh, that dust has some very strange form that is very hard to melt without borax, and uh, it's not like normal copper. But when I use borax uh, a lot, uh, this is what happened with the. Uh, graphite crucible because borax made some uh, boraxal acid which go through the crucible and uh, it's uh, destroy your crucible very fast with this crucible this is one kilogram salamander I melt about 30 kilogram of copper and about 20 kilogram uh, aluminium for two day so it's not bad I cannot use that anymore because if you see on the bottom, it's already lose uh, that round shape and uh, the bottom of that crucible is not that thick anymore. So maybe I have only a couple of millimeter right over there. See that? And uh, see all that slug inside is just stuck. I have little copper here. See that? This is all the junk from oxide from that copper and of course a lot of borax mixed with that and it's very hard to remove. And what is major problem, it's actually, you see right there, I got uh, two holes. Uh, on, on the end of the second day, I noticed that uh, when I start to pour, I don't have that copper like in the beginning. Uh, so I noticed that a lot of my copper actually go through that hole in the coal, in the charcoal. This graphite crucible is not anymore for use. You notice that two hole, I always make uh, with the drill, I make two hole because it's much easier for me to catch uh, that crucible in the charcoal when I got that hole with the vise. Like I said, a borax uh, will destroy your crucible, uh, not immediately, but after some time, definitely some crucible go to waste. Uh, this is my uh, other small one crucible. I use that in my already in my videos when I melt uh, with my friend that silver, and of course when I melt that copper and of course for the silver it's look very good because in the silver we not use any borax at, at all after some time uh, when we start to experiment uh, with our furnace we are almost destroy almost destroy this uh, crucible too because see that no matter that slug it's not important but inside look very good but outside it's actually start to uh, make some pretty deep Holes. I still can use this one. It's not uh, destroyed that much, but you see what borax did to that crucible. When you use a lot of borax, borax made uh, boraxal acid, and uh, that acid actually go right through the, through the graphite structure and make so that this little crack, this little holes like these, and your metal can go outside the crucible in the charcoal okay so this is my uh, box of borax and uh, when I start to melt uh, first day I got full this can but uh, you see I uh, use maybe a uh, 70% of a uh, borax amount and uh, of course it's not easy to melt a uh, 30 kilogram of copper for aluminium, I don't use borax, but for a copper, I use a lot of borax. So, this borax 
it's actually destroyed my crucible so guys this is just a short video about that if you melt some gold and silver you don't need to, to use too much uh, borax and your crucible will be good for use a long time but when you melt a copper copper like these returned from acid which stays some time and makes you see that that green oxide um, you you are need to use a lot of borax and that borax in time will damage your crucible so like I said this crucible it's make uh, a nice amount of money so this crucible failure is not uh, too important for me right now because uh, that 30 kilogram of copper I sell in the price of uh, five dollar per kilogram I don't need to remelt that copper bars that ugly copper bars yes I see that comment with the ugly copper bars but I don't need to remelt that because that uh, copper bars it just need to be solid here to sell it for the same price like uh, nice looking copper okay so I made about uh, hundred and fifty dollar in copper I got twenty five dollar expense for this crucible and uh, I got uh, fifteen dollar expense for a charcoal more couple dollars for uh, that borax so I actually I made a uh, clean a hundred dollar for a uh, two day work not a whole two day actually I uh, melt about maybe a uh, seven eight hours per day and i got that cool video then which i show you that you can melt copper return it from acid and make some money some extra money okay guys so this is this is just a short video i will see you soon in the next video okay guys see you around for the channel cheers